this is just a quick video to show you how to um, install the new upgraded aluminum rotor head to the mini CP helicopter. It's quite simple. All the tools you need is one small Phillips screwdriver. I'm using 1.5 mm right now, and two 1 mm L wrench. Okay, first of all, remove the main blades. Okay, so we just unscrew the main blades. And remove the free linkage connecting this watch plate to the servos. Okay, now that's done. Then remove the landing skid by simply just pulling it out. There you go. And then hold by holding the main gear, pull the main shaft. So remove the complete head assembly. Just coming out. Sometimes it's a bit tight, it may take some force to remove it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now we can set all these stuff aside. There are a few parts you need from the original rotor heads. The feathering shaft, the damper rubber, the spacers, and um, the push rod as well. So we re remove the linkage rod first. And then use the two 1 mm Allen wrench to remove the feathering shaft as well. Well, you can always purchase the new one and use this one as a spare. The part number for this is Mini CP Z07. See, you unscrew the feathering shaft already. I just pull everything out of the way. Okay, now we have removed the feathering shaft, the damper, and the spacers from the original head. Now we start the installation of the new heads. Okay, first of all, let me see where we are. Okay, now install the um, rotor hub onto the main shaft. You see one side have a little, a little notch right here, the other side is flat. So you install the small 2mm screw from the flat side. Now this may get a little bit tricky tricky because you have to get it through the hole on the main shaft to hold everything in place. Yeah, there we go. Now you tighten the screw, the Jesus screw, uh, Jesus bolt to hold the road hub onto the main shaft. Now you install the head damper, one on each side. Okay, now um, now we get the feathering shaft out and the damper rubber as well. Okay, now you install the screw. That two side of um, that two side, you have to insert the screw from the flat side of the rotor hub through the main shaft to the other side and tighten the screw. Okay, now you get the um, head damper into the rotor hub as well. Now you use the feathering shaft from the other head, just insert it into the aluminum hub. Uh, aluminum blade grip with the spacer. Just pull the hand wrench and just press it through the rotor hub with spacer again. Then the blade grip. There we go. Okay, now we just tighten the screw for the feathering shaft.
after the tightening, make sure you turn the feathering shaft a bit, make sure both sides is nice and smooth. It's nice and smooth, so push it a little bit on this side. Now, okay, now everything's nice and smooth. Okay, and then you get the included aluminum swash plates on the main shaft. Then the stopper. There's already a notch made um, on the main shaft already, so we just tighten tighten the um, stopper onto the onto the slot right there. No, there we go. Make sure that that two um, for the stopper there. Once I have a um, little edge right here, that side is for the bearing side, so that will be facing downward. Okay, now install the. Um, Linkage rod you got from your original plastic head. I do stuff to just snap on. Just be a little bit careful not to bend it or anything like that or damage it during installation. Okay, now the head is basically ready to drop back into the helicopter. Okay, just push it through. And make sure you slide the um, anti-rotation anti guide into the bracket. Okay, and then main gear symbol is just push it back on. Be careful, because there's a slot there for the main shaft. Make sure it's aligned properly. Okay, and then just connect the linkage rod back to this wash plate. Now be, be careful not to damage the servo while pulling onto the servo horn. Then you will damage the little gears inside if you pull on it. Okay, now just push the landing gear back on and then push, put the main plate back on and everything is set. Uh, make sure you double check the motor for the spacing for the main gear so it won't strip away while you start to run it for the first time. Alright, thank you and have a good day.